Hello, and welcome to another Farina screencast. In our first tutorial, we got connected uh, to some external data that was in a sample database called the Northwind database. In the second tutorial, we're going to look a little bit deeper about how to create parameterized SQL queries so that we can uh, filter on user provided values. So, in our first tutorial, we created a customer list report. Uh, based on a SQL query that had no parameters in it, uh, but just gave a list of all of the customers. So now we're going to take a look at the orders associated with those customers. And to do that, we're going to need to create another data block. Again, we'll use the same access equals access content so that the permissions are the same. And in this case, we are going to uh, write a SQL query that selects star from the orders table. And this time we're going to specify where customer ID equals colon customer. Now, of course, uh, if we run this query, it's going to give us an error because uh, the, uh, the MySQL Workbench doesn't understand customer IDs. But uh, uh, let's take a look at, let's go ahead and save this, and we'll take a look at what this might look like. So I'm going to call this uh, customer orders.sql. We'll give that a save. And now we'll go in and we'll create a new report, again from the Structure menu, Print Reports, create a new report. This time we'll call this one, uh, we'll give it the same name that we did the data block. It doesn't have to be the same, but we'll call this Customer Orders. Again, we'll use a category of Northwind. And let's go ahead and create that report. And in this case, we'll use our, I'll look for my customer orders data block. We'll preview that. We'll notice this time it asks me for the parameter of, of customer because I specified that in my SQL data block. Uh, so we're going to need to know the, the uh, list of customer IDs. Now, to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open a new window and use that report that I just created and look at the customer list. Oh, and sure enough, there's there's one that I can use, and I'll go ahead and paste that in. Now, in order for Farina to understand the data that's coming back, since it pre-renders all data, whoops, since it pre-renders all data to XML, let's put that in the right field, the customer field, um, we need to actually have some data to display. So here is a large list, uh, the list of uh, orders for a customer we can go ahead and add that data block. And we'll go ahead and press save. Let's go ahead and view this. So now we have a report that if we specify the customer ID, we'll be able to see a list of the orders that are associated with that particular customer. Now there's a few problems with the risk report. It shows a lot of columns that we really don't want to see, so we probably want to pare those down. Um, and the other thing is we have this little problem where we need to know this weird customer um, acronym in order to get at the data. So the first thing that I want to demonstrate, the most common way we use Farina reports, is that we will um, actually link uh, the report 
from our customers list so that this customer is automatically filled out uh, whenever uh, we we um, whenever we click on the customer in the customer list report so let's go take a look at that report go back to our customer list report um, but before oh, before we do that actually um, let's go back and look at this the URL to this particular report so this is demo slash reports slash customer orders slash customer equal AFLK or KL so we're gonna copy that URL because we're gonna need it in a minute okay so we'll copy that we'll then go to our customer list report excuse me and we're gonna edit that um, now as you'll note in the customer list report you know this is the first time we've really examined the source of uh, Farina report uh, let's take a look a little bit you'll notice that this is basically XHTML it has uh, an I an ID a class and then there's this frx block equals which is the reference to the SQL data that is being used in this particular report further down in the report so the way that this works by the way is that um, if this SQL date is the SQL block Northwind slash customers which is refers to the customers.sql file that we created returns any data then the stuff inside the the div tags is going to get rendered uh, it will only get rendered if that returns data, otherwise the report would uh, turn up blank. Then down, as we go down, we build a table, and then we have a tbody tag, and then we have this trid equal customers, and frx for each equal star. That is going to um, reproduce this tr between the beginning and the end of the tr for every row in the report. You'll notice also that the customer ID is uh, uh, fields are referenced with this um, curly brace uh, token syntax so any field in the database that we want to use we can reference by curly brace customer ID uh, close curly brace and we're actually going to use that as we define those fields so when we build these fields we can uh, they can have some custom formatting applied to them so let's go to the fields tab and take a look at that so we see all of the listings of all of the contact names and titles associated with this ID and we can in in the under the company name field we're going to add a link and here's where I'm going to use that uh, URL that I copied from before and this says it's going to link to the, the the customer orders report with a customer equal AF, ALFKL but that's not a good idea so let's go ahead and embed instead the customer ID from the row in the database here and we'll go ahead and press save and back to the view and now you'll see that the report um, creates a uh, listing of the company names and as we drill into each report we can see the orders associated with that particular customer